Hi, this is Pierre de la Côte working at Planet Technologies. Uh, I have uh, often a question how to manage calendar in Teams. Um, there are several ways to use calendars depending on what you want to achieve. Probably all of you are, are using the calendar in Outlook's personal calendar. Uh, but, you know, what if you want to put a calendar and share the calendar in your team so everybody can see the calendar? So there, there are several options to do that, and it, it depends on what you want to achieve. So I'm going to show you uh, different options that I've seen. I'm not saying they are better than the others. Uh, that's what I've seen. And maybe I'll explain uh, what are the benefits when there are benefits. So let's jump into um, Excel actually. So the first one is to create the Excel file. So you can uh, create an Excel calendar based on uh, templates. So Microsoft is providing several templates. So I'm just gonna take one. Let's say, let's take this one. This is a shift calendar. Um, so you, you, you can see that, uh, you can change based on the, on this, you can change the calendar. Um, so you can look at what are the different options of Excel calendar in, in, um, the Excel templates in, in Excel. Uh, I'm just, I just picked one, um, and I'm going to save it on the desktop just to show you uh, let's share it. let's store it um where can i store it let's go there it's easier to find what you want so i'm going to share it here a uh, sheet for calendars. I'm going to save it. Okay. And then now I'm going to upload it in the file section. So I should have it on my desktop. Um, so it's on the other screen, so you won't see it. So, but I just drag and drop my file, my Excel file. Um, maybe I made a mistake here. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake. I didn't choose the right document. Okay, here it is. So it uploads the document here. Now it's uploaded. Should be somewhere. We will, yeah, three dots here. So here's the document, and now I want to promote it as a tab. Okay, I can move the tab around, and I have my, I have my, oops, I can rename the tab, let's call it shift, Oh, I don't know why he doesn't want to stay where I asked him to stay. So here's the calendar. So I guess the, the template I'm using, using some sort of macro, so it, it's not working here, but you can see, you have the, you understand the point. You take the Excel template that you, that fits your need and you share it and everybody can have access to the to the calendar, you even put them their name in in the cell that you want them to put the name in. So that's one option. Um, another option is what I've seen. Uh, let's say I'm going to copy that. Is to do the same thing in OneNote. So I've seen. Um, so I created already OneNote. Uh, let's call it Shift OneNote. So you, you can copy paste your Excel file in, in OneNote. Okay. 
Okay, so basically, it doesn't do a good job to copy paste. The sometime you can open it in in OneDrive, it, and it's going to be better in the OneNote app. It's going to be better. So let's try that. <coughs> and maybe this calendar is not very well formatted, so um, it might be better. Maybe we could try to create a new Excel file. Let me try to create a new one pretty quickly. And I'm going to use a, a simple calendar. OK, so now I can copy. I'm going to delete the previous thing. I'm going to post my calendar. So I rename it calendar gen. So same thing. Uh, you have uh, the calendar here. Uh, you can let people add their name in the cell if you want to. Uh, also, you can you, you know you can really format it, but you can also add some comments uh, on the side. Uh, John is absent on the. <sighs> Six, and you can, you know, make a line if you want to. I'm struggling this morning. Okay, make the line up. So you enrich your calendar this way, and and same thing. So you see, so if I just right click on this. I can see the calendar in the tab, uh, and it's you know, it's it's uh, you, you can enrich your calendar uh, with uh, OneNote more than with Excel. So it's another way to do it. Um, um, more recent way is to use the calendar app. So you have now a channel calendar here, app that you can put so in the team, in the channel. And then you can enter your calendar like, like that. So you can add, um, I don't know, uh, prep event. And you can invite uh, attendees because it's going to be a Teams meeting. So that's more when you want to have meetings. It's really, it's it's a calendar, but for meetings in a channel. So you can enter um, all your all your meetings meetings everywhere. Um, what you need to know is people are going to have that uh, notification because it's a Teams meeting. So you might not want to use this app if your calendar is not related to meetings. So the last thing I wanted to share is what if you want to have a calendar that is visible to everyone um, and that is that doesn't notify anybody? and that you call sync in your Outlook. So it's a little bit tricky, but you're going to use SharePoint. So I'm going to go into SharePoint in the in the SharePoint site that is connected to the team. So to do that, I'm going to files, open in SharePoint. It's a trick to do that. Then I'm going to go into site contents, and I'm going to create a new content and and it is a nap so I'm gonna create a nap <coughs> I'm gonna look for calendar she'll refine the app to the calendar so I have my calendar app it's a SharePoint app so I can name it um, teams calendar I'm going to 
create my team calendar. Now I'm going to show you the team calendar. So I can, from here, I can add entries too. So I can add, you know, whatever I want, title. Um, place, whatever, a category. Uh, it's just like a calendar in Outlook. You define when it's going to happen. Um, and you put some data, the one, the one you want. You can also customize your calendar if you want to add special fields. It's a list in, in SharePoint. Um, so, uh, now I have this uh, calendar uh, in SharePoint and I can have access to it going through the path I showed you but it's not really really easy to find for our end users in your team so I'm gonna grab the link here and open um, Teams create a new tab and it's gonna be a website tab. Unfortunately, I cannot integrate the SharePoint calendar as a SharePoint object, so it's a link. Uh, so I'm going to call it Team Calendar. Pass the URL. So now you have another calendar, which is a SharePoint calendar. And you can see that uh, everybody who's going to come into the team, into the channel, you're going to see the tab, and they're going to have access to the calendar. So what I've shown you before is only for the owner of the team, who, the person who's going to prepare the team. And for the, the other people, it's easier because you just have to go into the into the right tab and you'll see uh, all the the events or all the meeting or all the information that you want to put in your calendar and it's accessible to everybody and everybody can add their own entry here it's not just just the owner so um, and you can have also some color coding if you wanted to but I don't want to make it complicated and also you can see that you have some menu and here you can click on the to connect your calendar the SharePoint calendar so everybody uh, could do that um, and and synchronize this calendar in their personal outlook so uh, I'm not sure if it worked here so let's see created a calendar. I don't see any calendar entry. So let's go back to the team. So apparently I cannot uh, click on this if I'm if I'm not in the browser. So what I'm gonna do is open the page in the browser. And do the same thing, and hopefully this time it will work. Yeah. So that's why it was not working. So I just say yes, and now I have my calendar, and I will see uh, hopefully the entry. So let's put an entry in the calendar on the twenty-one, so I can see it. Save it, and you're gonna see that if I go back here, it will come. Maybe I'm gonna refresh. Oh, here it is. So now I can overlay also the Outlook the SharePoint calendar, which is in Teams actually, with my Outlook, and so I can see 
when things are coming. So you can do that with birthdays, with anniversaries, with any kind of calendar you want to to have. And 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 the trick is to create in a SharePoint a calendar, uh, presenting it as a tab so everybody can have access to it. And educate people, as you can see, I tripped a little bit. So educate people how to sync their calendar going into the the web browser and and syncing the calendar into the Outlook. So here are some options. There are other options like uh, the Shift app, Shift app. Uh, that is more complex and more uh, rich. Uh, that is basically to manage shifts. But this is a very good, um, I think, a very good trick to know um, to share calendar that don't, you know, notify people or uh, put a, an entry in their Outlook unless they want to do it. So SharePoint is a way to go and you can include it in Teams. Hope it was helpful.